Hello everyone, thank you for joining us on our very first WebEx watercolor. This is Amy Beltran and I will be your watercolor instructor this evening. I hope of all of you will have fun today, so just relax and please don't feel intimidated. We will just put paint to paper and express ourselves and please just enjoy the process. This is a simple tutorial we'll do of a sunset or sunrise. And then we'll paint a silhouette on top and that will be completely up to you what, um, what kind of chapel you want to paint. So first we're going to start off with yellow. Then we will add an orange layer on top of that followed by pink or rosy color, some blue at the top and then the purple silhouette so you can use purple or black at any time during this video if you need us to pause the video so you could catch up just let us know in the telegram chat so the technique we'll be doing is watercolor on dry um, there's another technique where you can it's called wet on wet where you wet the paper with water and then add the watercolor to that which kind of makes a, a more blended smoother look um, but tonight this evening we will be doing wet on dry and as far as paper um, you want to use 100% cotton just make sure it says watercolor paper when you purchase it there's some nicer brands out there um, but uh, any watercolor paper will do if you want to talk to me more about the supplies you can always um, ask me or message me um, so what we did was put some yellow down and then we took a paper towel and dotted a circle where you want the sun to be So if you want to do that, just grab your paper towel and twist it and pick up the paint where you want your sun to be. So you just pick up that color with the paper towel. And we also have two containers of water to clean your brushes. One is for dirty water, one's clean water. And just have a paper towel to blot off the excess paint. And those will be the supplies that you'll need for this evening. And so when you clean your brush, you want to move it in a figure eight and then wipe the excess water on the side. And that will get your brush clean. And if you want to dab your paintbrush on the paper towel, that'll daub off the extra excess water. So now we're putting on our orange layer. So just copy the pit, copy what we're doing on the screen. So we have the yellow down and now we're painting the orange layer. Okay, now we're going to do grab some blue and paint the top of the sky. So what I'm doing here is just dabbing the excess color so it doesn't um, so it's dry and that the color stays blue and doesn't turn green. So that's what we're doing right now. So we're adding blue at the top. And like I said, if you, ha if you guys have any questions, feel free to type it on the telegram. And now we're taking the rosy pink color and we're going to layer that over the orange. And I think I got too much 
paint so I, I just stopped it so it doesn't get too wet there. And if you put too much color down you could clean your brush uh, and tap it on the paper towel and then pick up the color with the clean brush if you think you put too much color. So just play with it, don't worry. Um, if you put too much color all together, you could take your paper towel and just dab everything off of there and start over. So. pink color now we're grabbing some purple and we're gonna just dot in some clouds I think I put too much paint so I just dabbed it a little bit you can blend it in and get grab some more purple so we're just gonna dot in the clouds like so. How's everyone doing? Are you guys having fun? Are you guys enjoying? I'm just adding some orange, I think, just to balance it. And there you go. That's our first. guys I'm back and if your watercolor picture hasn't dried by now you can grab a blow dryer and just kind of um, make sure it's dry uh, that looks pretty dry so ne next um, so we saw all the inspiration photos um, for what you could do for your next layer which is the silhouette um, and so I posted some pictures of some chapels that you might want to paint the silhouette of. Um, you have total free creative reign over your watercolor. Um, if you want to paint something, else, another silhouette of something else, uh, feel free to. Um, I chose to paint the silhouette of the El Cajon Chapel. I don't know if um, you saw the picture, but my husband was cycling by and he saw that it, it looked different. So I guess, you know, they've been renovating it and this is what, this is what he saw. But since El Cajon is kind of in the east, um, this will be a sunrise, I guess, because a sunrise is in the east. So right now I'm just painting the chapel silhouette. So once you've decided what you want to paint, go ahead and you can either paint it dark purple or or black. 
Um, it's up to you. Black works too. So hope you guys are having fun. If you have any questions, feel free to message it in the Telegram and I will post those inspiration pictures on there. If you want to use that as reference, just refer to our our WebEx watercolor Telegram chat. So um, if you want more tips on watercolor, you could talk to me personally, um, like what types of paper uh, to get. Um, before you start watercolor, you can also tape your paper to like a fiberglass sheet or um, a plexiglass, I mean, or something you could um, use washi tape to tape it down so the paper doesn't wrinkle. Uh, my paper is actually on a, a block on the, the pad, so it's all stuck. And when I'm done painting, I will just peel it off. Um, so there's different types of things you could do. You, you could use painter's tape to paint, um, tape down your paper. And then after it dries, then you can take off the paint, the tape, sorry. How are you guys doing there? Is everyone okay? Feel free to message your questions on the chat, but hope you guys are having fun. And I'm just gonna let you guys paint, finish your paintings from here. And also um, don't forget to sign your painting at the bottom right and put the year or the date if you'd like. Um, that way you could always refer to it and remember the date that you had so much fun watercoloring, right? All right, brethren, hope you enjoyed um, my heart, I mean my art, and um, thanks again for joining us and, and um, hope you have more fun watercoloring. I'll let you guys uh, finish your paintings from here and take care.